in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Oakland... Raiders and the Tennessee Titans. the 35 and they talked about how important the passing game was going to be against that defensive look good job there going to the air for the first down it's all about preparation it's all about planning and then it's about execution so they put it all together in practice okay this is what we think we're going to see this is how they get to it and then when the game comes read it and attack it no gain there on the completion second and ten and Mr. Cooper, Amari, a headliner in this offensive unit. Brandon, it's rare that you get guys so polished coming out of college, but Amari Cooper has carried himself like a pro probably since he was six years old. He is a terrific talent. That's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Now, Carr again. Open man is Holmes. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Carr now on first down. This one caught left side by Cooper. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 13 yards there on the pickup. And the Raiders are going to have a first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you can just put the ball on it and then let him run. He's got some space. Here's Murray. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. A gain of three, second down. The starting defense for the Titans. Terrell Casey doesn't get the attention that he deserves, but he is an absolutely terrific defensive tackle. The best player on just about any team he would play on. On second down, here's Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The big tight end, Clive Walford, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. Thinking pass. To throw its car. He sets to fire deep. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. So now on fourth down, the Raiders will turn it over to the left foot of Sebastian Janikowski. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And this one is right down the middle. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So our initial drive here this afternoon results in three. I'm not sure that was a statement necessarily, but getting points on the road, never a bad thing. No question about it, Brandon. You had a crowd that was all fired up during pregame introductions, yet you're able to quiet them just a little bit by taking the early lead. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now here's the first carry for DeMarco Murray. And he is going to lose. 
lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push them back more. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed. And that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. Offensive starters, here they are. And Delaney Walker, Charles, it's a guy that you and I said we wanted to discuss a bit. Yeah, and we should because, remember, he came out of college as a wide receiver. So he's one of the early guys to move from a wide receiver position to tight end and still run routes as if he were a wide receiver. An excellent target. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Here's Jones. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Raiders will take possession. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Completes it right side to Cooper. A big play there on the catch and run. 58 yards. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Amari Cooper, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders add six to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Out come the Titans now. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Tajay Sharp, the intended target. And it's second down. And we take a look now at the defense for the Raiders. Dan Williams might as well change his name officially to Big Dan Williams. A monster in the middle, holds down the run game against any team. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Throwing again, Mariota on second and ten. Flushed out right. Rashard Matthews here on the catch. Nobody in front, Rashard Matthews. Touchdown, Titans. Rashard Matthews, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Titans get the quick strike touchdown. Pardon me, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big-time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. Here's Taiwan Jones on the return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now Oakland ready.
ready to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Second down, eight. Again, it's Murray looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. The defense won that play so fast, and I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. Now Carr, and this is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Andre Holmes that time, and that brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's the Raider punter Marquette King to kick it away. Back deep, Mark Mariani. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Mariota now on second down. Flush to his right. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it third and one. Well, there's another example of what Marcus Mariota brings to the game. Sweet feet that elude sticky situations. He knows how to get outside the pocket and get downfield. Last year as a rookie, he showed us exactly how to do it and do it well. Yeah, the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. On third and one, here's Mariota. And complete to the tight end Walker right side. It's a gain of three, and it gets in the first. Hey, when Marcus Mariota was at Oregon, throwing to the tight end wasn't much of an option, was it? That spread offense, you didn't have him on the field too much. Now, he's got one of the best in the game in Delaney Walker. Now, last year, Walker led all the tight ends with 94 catches. Now, they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. With the former volunteer, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Second down, Mariota on the move to his left. And that'll be incomplete. And pass interference on the offense. Been a while since I've seen one of those, Charles. I thought they had totally mothballed that call, so I'm very glad to see that someone recognized that the offense can make a mistake. A second down throw here for Mariota. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And it'll be third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Completed pass on second down. Now it's third down as the defense looks for the stop. On third down, Mariota sliding out of the pocket. 
And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now. They've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Jones on the return. Yeah, that's a 48-yard punt with a coverage holding him to three on the return. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and ten. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time to see if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now Carr throwing on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Well, in 2016 in Tennessee, DeMarco Murray. We're going to find out if it was style, scheme. Does he still have it or not? He thinks he's going to be more comfortable with the Titans. Yeah, because that fall off last year, 2014, over 1,800 yards, 392 carries. One of the best seasons running the football that we've seen in recent years. Let's see if they can convert here on third and three. Third and short yardage, Mariota. And he locates Walker, complete. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Now a second down run for Murray. Uses the stiff arm. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. When I watch a run like that, I always think of DeMarco Murray. The Oklahoma version of DeMarco Murray back in college because he could do it all. Run, catch, return game. His only problem was staying healthy. That was my worry about him coming into the league. And when he has been healthy in the NFL, he's been one of the top backs in the game. He was healthy on that run. 65 touchdowns, by the way, setting a record while he was at Oklahoma. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Mariota to throw it. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Delaney Walker, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans have taken the lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still running attack. We'll see how they attack him here. To throw his car. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. 12 yards on the pickup. Good enough for an Oakland first down. 
So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On first down, Murray. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. So we've got a second and five. Murray, the lone setback. Here's Carr to throw. Complete the tight end Rivera. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. Here's Carr, and that's complete to Walford. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Every quarterback likes having a reliable target at tight end, and I think young quarterbacks especially, because they want to get the ball in their hands quickly. I think these two, Derek Carr and Clive Walford, that's a pretty good connection for years to come for Oakland. Yeah, he started to come on strong end of his rookie year. Now the Raiders really hoping for that second-year jump out of Walford. a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Latavius Murray the intended receiver out of the backfield and that'll bring up second down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball and as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. It's a gain of 11 yards that time and it produces a new set of downs. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. Now Carr. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Lee Smith, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. And the Titans getting set to go. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. First down, Mariota. Eluding the pressure right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Second down, Mariota. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's taken down. Before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. He let the rushers get up field and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you get all that open space with big guys leading the way. Rolling to his right. Free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. 
The second down throw here for Mariota. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Perry Riley. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Here's Wolford over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, Carr. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Carr. Is incomplete seven seconds remaining. So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Throwing his car on third down, bearing one out deep for Holmes here. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front as we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. See if they can pick it up. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. Nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. Over the middle, Sharks got it complete. It's a gain of 17 that time. And the Titans are going to have a first. Love the call by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well, calling for the play action pass and completing it. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Reggie Nelson, the free safety, in on the stop. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here's Mariota. And some room to roam now. And he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. They come out here in the eye. From the red zone now. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. And now look at him go. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, 5, and he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. 
This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Mariota now on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. The hook up here to Harry Douglas. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And that's why you do all the drills that you do from the quarterback position, because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. The defensive coordinator came into this game with a plan to get to the quarterback with whatever type of pressure is necessary. It's working to perfection for him today. So third down, just one yard to go. They come out here in the eye. Mario to sneak it. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. And quickly, they get to the line. Mariota to throw it this time. Flushed out right. He's going to run again. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. Call it a gain of three, and that'll make this a second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And here comes play number six on this drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick, and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary and that led to a really nice game a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down now i can't imagine any celebrations being any bigger than your first nfl touchdown and this rookie running back is still seeking his he's not going to get it on that play on the read on, it comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose, and the Raiders have recovered. And Mariota, obviously so good, but one note I always have next to his name is rookie year, 10 fumbles in the 12 games he was limited to. And you have to believe some of that is the speed of the game. No matter how fast you are in the NFL, faster. And as a rookie, you have to absorb that and get better with it. But one other thing, when he was coming out of college, this was a major concern. Mm -hmm. 23 yep. fumbles in his collegiate career at Oregon. He cleaned that up a bit in his last season, but still, people were wondering, would he be able to make that adjustment, take care of the ball better? He'll continue to work on it. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass.
They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Carr, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think the Raiders are going to be able to hold on to it. Yes. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Second down now after the pass completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And here comes play number six on this drive. They come up in an offset eye. Car now on first down. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Amari Cooper with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Raiders add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Back now in Nashville. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Second down throw for Mariota. Throw left side complete to Sharp. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Third down, 15 yards still needed. Here comes the D swarming to the line. Third and long here for Mariota. Flush to his right. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here's Mariota. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. for his running back. It's complete. Give him three on the play, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. 
It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. There he goes, left side. 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. And oh, it's no good on the PAT, so they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is fielded at the goal line. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. down throw for Mariota. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And some room to work. Off to the races. DeMarco Murray. Touchdown Titans. DeMarco Murray. 83 yards. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. And he will get into the end zone to shave two more points off the deficit. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out, and they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They'd like to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. Because strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage in your tight end on that one. Carr turns, hands to Murray, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Two yards to go here on third down. Carr looking to throw on third and two. Cooper's got it. Pass the 20. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. Now Carr. Holmes has got it complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. Murray, the lone setback. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. A lot of people call the toss, 
a probing play to see what they can get against the defense to see how they adjust and react. Their probing's working pretty well. That was a very nice run. Defensively, they snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Clive Walford, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Raiders add six to their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. To return, this is Mark Mariani. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Defense showing blitz. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota eluding the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. The veteran Harry Douglas, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Third and long here for Mariota. Now they go screen. It's complete. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The first time All-Pro in 2015, Khalil Mack in there to drop him with his first sack of 2016. Mariota now on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. DeMarco Murray kiss him goodbye. Touchdown. With his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. Mariota looked to throw, and he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. So out come the Raiders. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. 
Carr going to throw here? And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And able to break one tack. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll come out in the pistol. Carr going to try and throw on third down. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They go play action here on first down. They'll buy some time right. And an alley to run. The ball comes out. And the Raiders pick it up. And they will have the football deep in enemy territory all the way at the 10-yard line. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Car going to look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. Then we'll be back. Way back at the 17 now after the loss. It's third and goal. From the gun, it's Carr. His throw caught at about the five. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And they're going to go for this thing. They're not going to leave anything to chance. They're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal. They're going to run it with Murray. And he is going to lose yardage here. Latavius Murray stopped up short, and the Titans' defense will celebrate the goal line stand. The Titans' offense now, they get set to head back out here. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Raiders, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Meanwhile, for the Titans, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we sign off from Nashville.